just sitting here with baby girl. Uh, I recorded a video the other day just kind of showing our master bedroom setup and figured I would share it here in case it was helpful for anyone who is looking for a setup for baby while mom is going through chemo or honestly even if it's even if you're just postpartum this is a setup we really hadn't planned on but it's now worked really well for us um, during all of this and I think even if we weren't going through chemo and cancer um, I'm really glad we have that set up now um, whether we were just regular postpartum so figured I would share kind of what's worked for us what is helpful and in case it helps you too so I could pretend we are make the bed people I kind of tried to make up this side of the bed but gave up because we're not make the bed people so why pretend we are <laughs> um, gloved up because I'm on chemo and have to have the gloves on to hold baby girl but I just laid her down for a minute and thought I would show a little bit of our bedroom setup because it's been really helpful. So I thought maybe it would come in handy whether you're on chemo or not. This has just been a great master bedroom setup for us with her. Um, we love this AMKE uh, bassinet. It's a side sleeper. And so it's been really great to have because not only is it got storage underneath, but it's super easy to move from one side of the bed to the other. So right now it's on babe's side of the bed because while I'm on chemo, he's been doing all of her night feeds so that I can get some rest. But then when he's working and has to go into the office, she's on my side of the bed because I do the evening feeds so that he can sleep before work. But I would highly recommend this sleeper if you're looking for a side sleeper. We borrowed it from my brother and sister-in-law and it has been a godsend. We just have her right next to us. We can reach over and touch her and comfort her when she's needing comfort at night. And then this over here, we had been planning to just do her changes in her room, which is not anywhere near ready yet, but we did have a changing table in there. But our friends brought this in and set it up for us, thinking that it would be easier to do everything in here, especially with me on chemo. And they were correct. So this has been a godsend as well. This cart was originally supposed to be my book cart. This was going to be my little cozy book corner, which it will be eventually. But right now this has been super helpful. So we've got her diapers here, um, all of the essentials, burp cloths, and then uh, changes of sheets for the bassinet as well as her uh, swaddles. And then right now we just kind of have all of her clothes in these two boxes grouped by these were preemies which were she's already grown out of and then these are the newborn ones uh we had an empty one of these over here that we use for her laundry which we are currently doing so that's why it's not there but it's been super nice to have this we've got everything right where we need it so if you are going to have baby in your room I highly recommend just having a changing table in the room too because it has made it so much easier to do night changes and then I love this little thing that my cousin got you just touch it the light comes on it doesn't get super bright you can also dim it more or make it brighter and then just double tap to turn it off hope the gloves don't love it but there we go um it just makes night changes super easy without having to wake the sleeping parent and she gets changed and she's ready to go so that's about it for our little master bedroom setup but obviously like i said we're i could pretend we're clean but right now we've just got stuff everywhere that's all of her preemie clothes that i need to go to put in to donate um we're gonna take them to the hospital because the hospital said that they didn't get a lot of preemie donation clothes and need them for the babies. So we're gonna take that there. And then that's about it. Just a couple essentials. Like I said, the side sleeper is great. And then I highly recommend having a changing station in the master bedroom, whether you're on chemo or you're just postpartum and baby's staying in your room, 
highly, highly recommend. So you obviously saw the two separate sheet sets. That is just during chemo week. I don't know if you can see our bedroom now. We are no longer on chemo, thank goodness. Um, so we are back to being able to share the same covers again. The separate sheets were because they recommend not sharing the same top sheet uh, with your partner during chemo while you're home on the pump. So that's the only big difference. We don't usually have two separate sheets on the bed, but I hope you found that helpful. It really has worked well for us and uh, she seems to enjoy it, <laughs> but she seems to just be content with most things right now. So uh, that's it for us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your continued support. See you next time.